we have Frenda Rogers. She is the director of ACCESS Life College Career and Educational Signature Consulting Services, where she provides individual counseling, college and career exploration and development and academic coaching services. Brenda was employed as a high school counselor for Chicago Public Schools for 16 years. She is the author of Nobody, Me at Age 40, I Am a Virgin Embracing Your Life's Journey. Brenda holds a bachelor's in psychology from Spelman College, a master's in social work from the University of Illinois at Chicago, a master's in school counseling from Concordia University, and a master's in school leadership from Concordia University. She is currently working on a PhD, human services, with a concentration in social and community services at Capella University. We want to welcome Brenda. We Thank you so much. Can you guys hear me? Welcome. Yes, we can hear you. Great. All right. Thank you so much, um, Roberta. First off, I love um, I love things like this. Um, I am a supporter of, of Black businesses and people providing services that look like me. So I'm excited um, to be here. And thank you again. Thank you. We're for excited to have you. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about the services I offer. Um, as Roberta said, my business is called Access. Um, and basically what I do, the goal is to provide access, resource, and support um, for individuals in the area of education, college, career, life. Um, so I just do a few things um, and I just kind of put it all together and call it access. So because the point is um, to help individuals gain access and resources and supports. Okay. Um, first off, um, my life resources is I'm a counselor by trade. You know, um, I do life counseling, um, life coaching, been doing a lot of counseling around grief um, and, and different emotions people have been feeling um, due to the pandemic as well as um, racial injustices and social things. I also, um, as you stated, work with um, high schoolers uh, and helping them prepare for college. So I take them through everything from trying to figure out what they want to major in, trying to figure out um, what, do they want to stay close to home? Do they want to leave? Do they want to go to HBCU? State schools, we go through the application process. I help them with college um, essays, um, all of the applications. I stay with them until they receive acceptances from colleges. And then when they make the decision on which school to choose, around um, April or May. Um, I even stay with them once they've decided what school they want to attend to assist them with um, housing applications, just all of the paperwork and the different things that you have to do in order to enroll in the school. So I'm basically with their parents waving goodbye to them in August once they're on a college campus, if they are, or they're enrolled in school. So I take the students through that. Um, years, I work with um, high school students, co um, college age students, and even adults who um, may be in a career crisis. I worked for a system for 16 years and decided to leave um, because I was in a career crisis um, and opened up my own company. And so I talk to people about the transition and different resources um, that I have to provide them with making the right decision about um, what kind of career field they want to go into and what their passions are. So that's career. Um, education wise, I have a virtual tutoring. Um, I have virtual tutoring services where I tutor students in all subjects. If I'm not able to, I have um, tutors that will assist like math is just not my, my forte. So I have um, math tutors that will come in, like I said, from kindergarten. Actually, I've had my youngest clients before learning to read. Um, to college age. I also provide supports to parents for remote learning. That has been, you know, an experience um, since March of this year. I've worked with um, parents, schools, organizations to help um, provide remote learning services and also parents who decided to homeschool their students. So through education, I do that. And then I also have, as you mentioned, I wrote a book. Um, I published it this year. 
actually um, January 2020 on my birthday. Um, and so I went through it. I self-published. I went um, through everything with like $500. Because again, I left a career um, of 16 plus years and decided to that I was going to go into business on my own. So I was on um, a budget. So I had less than $500, I believe. Um, and I was able to, you know, write, edit, and self-publish uh, my book. So I have a um, seminar on my site, um, it's friendorogers.com. I could put it in the chat um, where I show you from step one to, or A to Z, what I did to become self-published through um, the, the direct publishing um, through Amazon. So those are basically the services that I provide any questions or would like for me to clarify anything. Also, as it relates to services I provide for adults career um, counseling, I just did a, um, a basically a master class um, through my church on career crisis um, and, and kind of defining what a career crisis is. Because, you know, for me, when I turned 40, a lot of stuff changed for me. Um, my passions, things that I thought I, I knew what I wanted to do. Um, and so I know there are a lot of people like me. And so I, I have a, a actual teaching or master class on how do you define a career crisis and how do you know if you're in one? And once you realize that if you're in one, steps that you can do um, to get out of it. So those are some of the services I, I provide for. To be honest with you, my um, resources are a little limited um, depending on your age or depending on if you started at a school and you, you possibly didn't finish or we have to figure out, we have to get your transcripts. I could walk you through that, but I have more resources for students who's coming out of high school um, going right into college. I have some minimum, but I have some for adults who decide to continue education or who may wanna get another um, degree, you know, or get licensed um, in a specific field. I have resources for that. So I put in the chat, my website is friendorogers.com and my email address is info at friendorogers.com. And then on social media, I'm just my name, Friend of Rogers. I don't, I don't change anything so you can find me anywhere. You have some awesome accomplishments. And what I admire is that um, you're taking all of this that you have learned and you're willing to give back and help those who think that they may be at the end of their journey, but you're there to support them and uplift them, make sure they get the educational services that they need. Yes. Uh, you're writing books to uplift people. I mean, that's wonderful because it's a lot of people who's actually interested in writing books or becoming an author and don't know where to begin. They don't know where to begin. So mm -hmm. that is an awesome skill to have. Um, I'm sure that you're doing great sales with your book. Yeah, I was surprised. <laughs> I honestly were. Okay. But yeah, it's really easy. How many pages is your book? Um, I got it right here. I don't even really, it's like a hundred pages, honestly, a little bit over a hundred. Um, people that have read my book say they've read it in one or two days. It's very like, it's, you feel like you're talking to me. I tell all of my business. I don't care okay. if I'm going, you know, me telling my business could assist someone else, then that's fine. So I, I just write about my journey and, um, and the importance of embracing your own and not comparing your life, you know, um, even your family and your upbringing to anyone else, because everybody's, we, we're, we're individuals, you know, we all have a story, we all have a journey. So it was important once I realized how to embrace my own life and my own journey and not question or have regrets, you know, about certain You've taken all of your skills and all of your knowledge and wanted to pour it back into people. That's great. You're going to be extremely blessed. So I have another question for you. What would you say is like one of the major differences in being an employee versus an entrepreneur? How's that? You know, I have to, I have to call you and pick your brain about that because <laughs> You've been doing this thing longer than me. That's why I asked when we were connected. Um, it's different, okay? Um, and I always try to tell people the truth. Um, it is not for the faint at heart. 
It's not. And you have to really know that this is what you want to do. Um, it's, it's very easy to wake up in the morning, um, clock in and clock out, and then every two weeks get a check. It is. And that's what I was doing, honestly, for the last year or so of my career. Um, and because I'm just not that type of person, I put my all in everything I do. Um, I felt like I wasn't giving my all to my, my clients, my students, um, my kids, as I, I would refer to them. Um, so I just couldn't be a robot anymore. So it was easy. I knew every two weeks I was getting a check, you know, in, in, in Chicago public schools, depending on how many degrees you have and how many years you get, you get pay. Um, but money, the money that paid just was not making me happy. It just wasn't my heart, you know, my life. It just, I wasn't, I wasn't happy. And like I said, when I turned about 40, I was really dealing with some things about 36 ish, but 40, it was kind of like, if you want to step out and do this, do it. Um, I don't make as much money as I made, you know, in CPS. I'm working towards that. Um, but it this is it is one, I must say honestly, it is one of the best decisions of my life. Have there been struggles? Are there days when I'm like, what the heck did you do? Um, are there days when I question myself, or are there days when I'm just like, God, if you don't help me, I, I'm just gonna lay in this bed? Yes. And then there are great days where um, you know, you get invited to something like this and you see other entrepreneurs working hard, you know, um, and sharing what they do. So um, I love it. it. Again, it's not at the, it's not for the faint of heart. Um, it's easier to run your own business if you are a hard worker. Like I work, I broke my back. I got sick working mm -hmm. for a system that my heart just didn't agree with for years. And that, you know, I, all accomplishments and awards, like, oh, you're the greatest this and that. And I felt like if I was going to lose sleep, if I was going to be sick, if I was going to be stressed out, why not do that building legacy and building my own brand, you know, as opposed to doing it for a system that I, I just, you know, I bless it because, you know, it's a public school system and I graduated from Chicago public school system, but my values and what I believed in just did not connect with that, you know, so it's the best decision in my life. Is it hard? Yes, but you guys know that. I'm preaching to the choir. You guys know how hard it is. You brought up two very important things that I want to wrap it up with. Just saying that, you know, um, you did it for a system or whether you do it for another company. When you get the results for someone else and you have the motivation, you're like, hey, I can go and do this for myself. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I can put myself up there in the Fortune 500 and exactly. be those winners. You know, it's people winning on all levels, but you help them to win and you gain some good knowledge. And now you can take your business to the next level. Yes. And another very important thing you brought up is that, like, you're not even making the same amount of money. Got so, where, where that actually lies at is that. You're passionate about what you do. It has nothing to do with the dollar amount. It has nothing to do with her knowing she's going to get a check every two weeks. That security is gone. Yeah. And she's not even making the same amount of money. That's what we do as entrepreneurs. We step out on faith. We do things that we're passionate about. And when you're passionate about it, it allows you to actually deliver the best services and the best products. And it actually allows you to actually grow your company, grow your uh, customers. They yeah. want to continue to work with you on a regular basis. They know that they can actually refer you. All mm -hmm. of those things make difference because it wasn't about the pay. It was about the passion. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Passion and purpose. Yes. And so I, I'm a firm believer that if you're not living in purpose, you will never be happy. I don't care how much money you make. I don't care how many beautiful children you have. You know, if you have the person of your dreams, if you are not living in purpose and what you were born to do, you're just not happy. And I'm a living witness, no matter what. Like I have great, a great life. I have great family. I, I do. Everything is not perfect, but um, I just was not happy. And I'm much happier now living in purpose. Is everything perfect? No. But I know that I'm living out what I'm supposed to be doing. That's what I was born to do. I know that for a fact. Like nobody can tell me different. 